Alright everybody, it's Thursday. Welcome to Thursday. It's gonna be a good Thursday. It's cold these days outside. Yes it is, but it's winter, so it's supposed to be. Anyway, hey, it's Christmas time. It's the holidays. What is one of the main things you do during this time of year? Nope, nope, that's not it. No, no, it's not snow blowing. We don't do snow blowing here in California. Well, in this part of California anyway. That's Christmas cards. Christmas cards. Everybody sends out, well not everybody, lots of people send out Christmas cards and holiday cards and have a good time with it and some people hang them and string them and do different things with them and sometimes they're funny and sometimes they're sad and sometimes they're sweet and sometimes they're cool. But we thought, huh, there's so many different ones, so many cool ones out there, so many funny ones. We should check in and see what some of these are. So to help us read some really great Christmas cards, here's our one and only Clyde Bigsby reading classic Christmas cards. It's time for another episode of Christmas Cards with Clyde Bigsby. Ra 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 ra. That's not how it goes. Hey, candy cane. All right. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, you're gonna go and you're gonna do card reading. Oh, that's what Carl Ann said. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, there you guys are. Oh, it scared me. I'm not scared. You're scared. <laughs> uh, hey, guys. Uh, Clyde's still here. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to read some Christmas cards that uh, got sent up to here by the Carl Ann guy. Uh, <laughs> you guys like my snow chains? Uh, card number one. <laughs> Three phrases that sum up Christmas. <laughs> I wonder what they are. <laughs> oh. Peace on Earth. I like that one. Uh, goodwill to men. <laughs> All right. And women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And batter's not included. Oh, I don't like that one. Batter's not included. Anyways, uh, uh, do like the Kleister does. Uh, I wrap up batteries and give them to everybody. and <laughs> Somebody else can buy the gift. <laughs> All right. Uh, card number two. <laughs> Dear Santa, just leave the credit card under the tree. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that's uh, good advice. Uh, well, wait, is the credit card supposed to be on my wallet? A anyway, uh, one, two, <laughs> well, Ray taught me that next one. Oh, three. <laughs> it's after three that we get a little confused. All right, um, oh, Christmas treats, oh, Christmas treats. How tasty can you be? <laughs> Pretty tasty. Oh, Christmas treats, oh, Christmas treats. Please don't put pounds on me. <laughs> hey, is that a fat joke? <laughs> oh, card number uh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, I got another Christmas card here. <laughs> uh, the older I get, <laughs> the younger Santa Claus looks. <laughs> hey, I saw him a few minutes ago. Up in Northern Canada up here. <laughs> uh, card number... Uh, one, two, three, four, and then one again. End of one. All right, uh, I put so much thought into your gift that it is now too late to get it. <laughs> I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> Clyde Stern and thought. <laughs> That's a Christmas gift. Card number six? I think it's six. All right. Uh, I once bought my kids a set of... <laughs> Kleister needs some glasses here. Oh, I once bought my kids a set of batteries for Christmas. With the note, it's saying, toy is not included. <laughs> uh, if the Kleister had kids, <laughs> that would be every year. <laughs> Christmas miracle is when <laughs> your family doesn't get into a single argument all day. <laughs> Just don't invite the family. It'd be a great Christmas. Oh, I'm sorry. This is supposed to be about family and stuff. I was thinking, I haven't got any advice to this year or last year. Oh, no. The Kleister's family might have forgot him. Oh, no. Okay, all right. The office Christmas party is a great opportunity to catch up with people you haven't seen in 20 minutes. <laughs> Unless you're up here in northern Canada, those little guys are always working. I see them all the time. <laughs> Christmas, the only time of the year you can sit in front of a dead tree eating candy out of a sock. <laughs> oh, that's a clean sock. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I got you this card instead of wishing you a Merry Christmas from my phone on the toilet. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, um, here's our final one. Uh, Twas the nizzle before Chris Mizzle, and all through the hizzle, not a creature to drizzle, not even a mizzle for shizzle. <laughs> I don't get it. Oh, that's that's uh, that's that's one of them Instagram Snapchat thing and rejigs the clights to just don't anyway. Ooh, candy cane. Well, um, the clights up here in northern Canada, we miss you all and. <laughs> Y'all seen sparkles? That guy scares me, okay? Um, but anyways, I um, got my candy canes, and uh, I got some maple syrup waiting for me, and uh, some hot chocolate. Mm-hmm, Clyde likes hot chocolate. Anyways, uh, you, I don't know if I'll see you guys again, but uh, Merry Halloween Valentine's Day or something crazy like that. Anyways, uh, you guys take care. Clyde's to out. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> Nice job, Clyde. Absolutely. Those are some good ones. Who knew Snoop Dogg making the Christmas cards? Oh, yeah. You never know. Funny, funny stuff. All right. That was really good. So if you're into that kind of thing, it's uh, you know getting down to the wire here. You need to get those things in the mail so that they get to people on time. Some people send New Year's cards as well. You know, welcome to the New Year. Happy New Year cards. That's kind of a cool thing to do. Old school sending cards and stuff. Postage can be a little pricey. But stamps aren't that bad. Just a basic card doesn't cost you more than a stamp, so do that. It's cool. It's cool to receive that stuff as well. So if you got someone out there you haven't talked to in a while, send them a card. It's a nice thing to do. All right, it's Thursday, so let's check in with Zach taking us back in the bearded past or something like that. Hi everybody! No, hi guys, how you doing? It's Thursday the fifteenth. Um, man, getting close to the end of an, getting close to the end of another week. But let's go back, back to the bearded past with Zach. with Zach. Today we've got a few things uh, happening here. Um, nineteen oh five, the Pushkin House is established in Saint Petersburg. Russia. This is to preserve the cultural heritage of Alexander Pushkin. Those of you who don't know who he is, he's an author. Uh, one of his best short stories, I think, is Queen of Spades, personally. That is a great story. Um, I read that in, gosh, I read that in 1997, and it still sticks, so very good story. Uh, it's very cool that they actually uh, have the Pushkin house. That would be actually very neat to go check out. Um, also, too, uh, we have uh, 1917, Russia again, World War I. So an armistice was signed between Russia and the Central Powers. Russia bowed out of the war. They were going through revolution. Uh, they were having internal conflicts. And so they could no longer maintain war with Germany and deal with the, uh, basically the overflow, uh, or the, uh, the, the overflow, uh, the overthrow of the, uh, the Tsar and Lenin's new Soviet Union. So, uh, yeah, that was happening then. And then also to 1939, Gone with the Wind. It premieres, uh, at the Grand Theater in Atlanta, Georgia, United States, uh, also, too, we have the uh, World War II, the Battle of Mount Austin, the Galloping Horse and the Seahorse Begins, the Guadalcanal Campaign. This was now in the Pacific Theater, and uh, this was definitely, uh, this is, I have talked a little bit about it, uh, the, the, the campaign in the Pacific Ocean was, uh, was something else. It was, it was very violent, and... Japanese were a very dedicated army. Uh, last but not least on this day, let's go and see if we got something a little more modern. Uh, we have a, uh, the, uh, actually what we do have is we have the third reactor of the Chernobyl nuclear power plant is shut down. Those of you guys who understand, we had this, and this was in 2000 now, we'd already had the Chernobyl incident, but they were able to finally shut down this uh, reactor. And, and that was, that's a big thing, because this, power, this, this, this nuclear power plant was, you know, 
<laughs> cause a massive catastrophe in Russia. So this was huge. You've probably heard a little bit about it if you've been following uh, the war. Uh, that was a big, uh, it's in Ukraine actually now. And uh, so you guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoy a little bit of this history. You know, there's all kinds of fun stuff out there and it's not all war stuff. There's a ton of other stuff. So all right, you guys. Take care and uh, have a good one, man. Bye. Ho, ho, ho. Very good. Now we've got Gabrielle with some cool stuff going on in town or around or in the neighborhood or a national day. I never really know what it's going to be until we watch it. Morning everyone. Here we are on Thursday. You know, down the old slippery slope we go to Friday in the weekend. And it would be the weekend. Oh, is it true? The weekend before Christmas? Oh. oh. I better get all those packages wrapped. I like to enjoy them for at least a little longer time than the night before and then they all ripped up the next day. So I really got to get my patootie on that. But um, there's so much going on around places that I want to go out and see too, so I think I'm going to be losing a little sleep here lately, and you all know I like my sleep at night, so I'm going to tell you something fun to do again that's happening around here. It's the Art Walk, and Ray is my go-to guy here on these things. He's probably going to look it up and flash it back behind me and let you know if it's tonight or it's this weekend, and I can't remember, but it is the Art Walk. So all the art galleries around are open up in the evening hours um, from five to eight, and they've got lots of cool art that you can go see, purchase some of it, so many different mediums of art, you know, from the Mislin to all the different galleries around here all the cool little things that they have. And you would be surprised what you might find for a gift for somebody or a stocking stuffer, or just be able to appreciate all the cool art that goes on around here that you always don't get to um, appreciate any other time. And of course, then it's the evening. You can have some dinner, other things going on. And what's the best part about between five and eight o'clock? Yes, it's the lights. It's the beautiful lights everywhere. You can walk down and see the tree and all those cool things. And maybe you get in the car and go look at some lights on your way home with people who have lots of cool lights up. So there's another thing that's going on around town, the Art Walk. Have a great day, everyone. Ho, ho, ho. All right, and that is it for Thursday, everybody. We are counting down. We are close. We are one week away now from our holiday party. We're gonna have a holiday party right here Thursday, December 22nd in the building. Have some tasty food, treats, games, all that kind of good stuff, fun stuff. Got more fun things coming. Now I've heard a lot of commotion in the building. You guys filming your videos, your holiday videos, having a ton of fun, some crazy stuff going on. Lots of cool ideas, so I'm really excited to see what you guys come up with. We'll do that on Thursday, next Thursday as well. That'll be cool. So look forward to it. Otherwise, Facebook Live, one o'clock, we'll be cooking something tasty. Someone will be cooking something tasty. We'll see what it is. Facebook Live, one o'clock, learn some cool things about holiday cooking as we have so far. Facebook Live, one o'clock, we'll see you there. Otherwise, have a great Thursday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow, Friday, on the morning routine. Woo! That baby really flew.